know that this is a ton of material in a really short amount of time, you do need to try to get it in your noggin now. Don't think about the test in isolation. Really think about how we've grouped those together to help you figure those things out. Also remember for goniometry, if you just have a complete brain freeze, what we are going to say to you is, what angle are you trying to measure? What are your two segments? How would you line your goniometer on those two segments? Okay? As long as you're able to have that conversation with us, you'll be fine. Okay? The goniometer comes back and you tell me that someone has 31 degrees of shoulder flexion. I will probably question that and say, okay, show me what 31 degrees looks like with your goniometer, right? And we'll get you to get that right, that correct number. Um, so really what I want you to be able to do is think through stuff. For the manual muscle testing of the wrist and hand, while there's a ton of muscles, the tests themselves are pretty simple. It's just a matter of getting them straight in your head. And again, we will ask questions like, okay, well, where does that attach? So what joint would it move at uniquely? Okay. We haven't talked much today about how we're isolating other muscles, but it really is based on where we're stabilizing and where we're applying resistance. Okay, And the position we have those other joints. So you want to think about that while you're practicing. So our last group of muscles, of five muscles, are ones that move the wrist. Okay, And um, we're going to start with the flexors because they're just in the notes that way. So. Uh, Dylan, what I'm going to have you do is we're going to test the strength of some muscles in your forearm that, that move your arm up, but they also help move your wrist side to side, okay? So I'm going to start by having you br uh, make a fist and then bring your hand up. Now it should be a loose fist, okay? And then I'm going to have you go, uh, I think we're doing radialis first, so let's go towards your thumb. So bring it up and towards your thumb. Okay, now hold it there and I'm going to try to pull you up. And relax. Okay, now I want to test the other side of your hand. So this time what I'm going to have you do is bring your wrist up and go towards your pinky. Oh, you like to do that one a lot better. Hold it there. And relax. Okay, so that's flexor carpi radialis and brevis. And so it's just flexing the carpies and then having a shift to either the radial side or the ulnar side. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the extensors. So for the extensors, um, there we have two. So we have a longus and brevis, okay? So to test the group, we're gonna keep the arm in this position. So um, what I'm gonna do is have you uh, extend and, yeah, go, flex, yeah, extensor carpial nares, hold it there. Okay, good. Um, now for the radialis, sorry, for the extensor carpi radialis, we have a longus and brevis, not the uh, ulnaris. So now I'm going to have you come up and go towards your thumb. This is the group test. Hold it there. And relax. Now, how do you think I'm going to get rid of the longus? It's a two joint muscle, crosses the elbow. I'm going to flex. I'm going to shorten that thing so I can shorten that, that longus. Now I'm going to have you come up and go towards your thumb again. Hold it there. It's because of where it crosses at the elbow. Okay. So to isolate brevis from longus, you have them both. Exactly. Yep. But the other one where we have the elbow more straight, we're getting both. Okay. So we have... Um, Flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, we have extensor carpi ulnaris, we have extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis. Okay? So those five muscles can be tested again in just a few minutes. Okay? Alright, so those are our last five.